I'm really sorry, Lily. Is Abigail here? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I haven't seen her. Where's Holden? Uh, he's at the stables. What's Come on in. What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? I've been everywhere. I've been all over town. She's not anywhere. I can't find her. Is everything okay? No. Yeah, yeah I don't know. She, we had another fight. A really bad fight. And she ran out of the apartment. Oh. oh. But she's a good driver, Abigail. It's don't worry about that. that. I'm not worried about that. Well, then what is it? I don't want to think it, let alone say it. Well, obviously, you're thinking about it, or else you wouldn't be here. So what is it? I'm scared to death that Abigail ran off with the next step. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Molly. Where have you been? Toiling away for you. Where else? Details, James. I want details. Well, that thought. You are about to have a visit. Who? This is why I need to know what's happening. Just not now, Barbara. Not now. What have you unleashed? Never give up, do you, Barbara? Rose D'Angelo, what a pleasure. Oh, save it. I know what you're up to. I'm glad one of us does. You're messing with me, Paul. But this time, you're gonna pay. Pal? Anybody home? Pinewood, that's Tom. Oh, Daniel, no. It's Emily's. She tried to kidnap my son. You know, you need to stop doing that, Tom. He's her son, too. Oh, and that gives her the right to drop a glove? Because that's all we've got at this point. Oh, come on, Hal. Emily's a loose cannon. The fact that she's allowed to be in charge of a child, any child. You and I both know that kids need structure, and Emily can hardly take care of herself. And your opinion of Emily somehow proves she tried to kidnap Daniel? Goes to motive. Tom pointed out her irresponsible parenting. She knew she was going to court. And the next thing we know, there's a ladder leaning up outside our house. Speculation, Margot. Pure speculation, which is inadmissible in court. Right, Tom? What are you, a lawyer? I'm a cop. Then why don't you act like one? Because all I've heard from you so far are excuses that sound like they're coming from her lover. exercise fail. Adding Lipitor can help lower your total cholesterol 29 to 45 percent. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver disease or possible liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking or if you experience muscle pain or weakness as they may be a sign of serious side effects. One in five people has high cholesterol. Millions need treatment. For less cholesterol, ask your doctor if Lipitor is right for you. On this job, there is no quitting time. No matter how raw your throat, ragged your cough, you labor through chills. Fever. Now the work is done. You need Theraflu with a great new taste. From the first sip, your throat feels soothed. Soon, the cough, congestion, aches melt away. You feel better from the inside out. For bad colds or flu, try the great new taste of Theraflu. Instant comfort, powerful relief. Neutrogena hand cream, developed in Norway for Arctic fishermen to protect their hands. Five years of clinical tests prove it works better at rapidly healing dry skin and at retaining moisture longer. That's why it's trusted by dermatologists. 
Neutrogena hand cream. It works better. How those missing teeth feel? Okay. I never minded losing teeth. You made the noodles easier to slurp. Try it. Campbell's has that comforting combination of tender chicken, fresh egg noodles, and a rich golden broth. <laughs> Campbell's. Mm-mm, good. Yesterday, he was in the 19th century. But today, he's arrived in the 21st. This Christmas, chivalry is back in style. Oh, I like that. Kate and Leopold, rated PG-13, opens Christmas Day. Ooh, ooh, look, we're on TV. Yeah, it shows us gallon-sized store bleaches are bigger than Ultra Clorox bleach. Hmm, because we contain two pounds more water. Wow, two pounds more? But it's, it's only water. Uh, change the channel. Ultra Clorox bleach whitening, without the weight. The Japanese sword that turned a town upside down. Tonight on the CBS Evening News. Think you've got a full house this holiday season? Meet the Jackson 20. Can you name all of your kids? All in the family. 48 hours tonight. I'm sorry, Rose, but I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Vincent Patrick O'Malley? Ring any bells? Should it? Well, yeah, it should, since you got him sending me letters and flowers and taking up with the Lakeview, stealing my underwear. Should ring some bells. Mr. O'Malley, is it? Is he from Atlantic City, by chance? I don't know how you found him. I don't know how much you paid him. I don't know how, if he even knows what's going on, because he's so stupid. But it's got to stop now. Rose, if you're having difficulties with someone named O'Malley, don't you think you should handle it yourself? You're not exactly a shy girl. See, I can't find him. Didn't you just say that he's at the Lakeview? No, I say he's registered at the Lakeview. Oh, well, I'm sure the staff could leave a message for him. But see, he won't pick it up because he's not there. He's a ghost, Barbara. Yes, see, he doesn't exist, at least not here in Oakdale, but you, you found him somehow and made Paul think that I'm involved with him again. I still don't understand. Well, neither did I, because it doesn't sound like Vince at all. Messages, weird messages, and, and mysterious calls and flowers. This guy couldn't even fill out his unemployment papers. Not his M.O. at all. Mm -mm. And you're blaming me. See, you're smart. Barbara, you know your son. You know he gets a little jealous. He's a little insecure. You dig up an old boyfriend of mine, make it look like we're hot and heavy again, and then worse, you make it look like I was lying about it. But you made a mistake. Big mistake, Barbara. That voice on the answering machine? I know voices. It wasn't Vince's. So I got you, Barbara. Mm, I got you good, because you are the only one who will benefit from me and Paul breaking up. So it had to be you. Rose, I'm not going to pretend that I'm happy about your relationship with my son, but I promise you I had nothing to do with this Mr. O'Malley. Don't waste my time, all right? Listen, we had a deal. I don't tell anybody that you were blackmailing me, and you stay out of my relationship with Paul. Let me tell you something, lady. You're getting an early Christmas present because your stocking is going to be empty, and I'm getting Paul, and your relationship with him is over. Got it? Rose, wait, wait, wait. You have to believe me. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Why? Why should I believe you? Because I know who did this. Abigail, honey, I'm really glad you're here. Abigail was down at the stables, tending to her new horse when I got there. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to help her out much. I feel my knee gets any better. New horse? Honey, I didn't realize you took holding up on his offer. Well, I didn't realize I had to clear it with you. You don't. It's just, well, why is it a problem? It's not a problem. I j last I heard, you considered it to be a bribe. I know when anyone does anything nice for me, you can't say that. You know what? I think that we can find a better way to talk about this. Do you know how frustrating it is to have an ex-con undermining you at every Still, turn, Holden? Well, it's not working. I know. You're right. I'm sorry. Abigail, you know how I feel about Nick. The whole world knows how you feel about me. Okay. We got a problem, but we're going to work it out. Abigail, your mother's attitude towards this guy comes from some bad experiences that she had with him. Well, yeah, A, she's playing games, serious games with the truth, and B, he's changed. Do you see, Holden? I don't think she, that she would lie, which leaves us with the possibility that He's changed, and maybe he has, but don't you think that you owe it to yourself to get a little more information about this guy 
Especially if you're going to make this guy part of your life. Only if you stay too. Great. That's a great idea. Maybe Holden will come up with a solution. Oh, that's nice, Tom. That's really nice. Broadcast it in front of Adam. Oh, trust me, Adam already knows. In fact, the whole town knows. Knows that you've got a problem with Emily? Knows that this whole crusade started when she moved in with me? Knows that you're so determined to punish her, you'd take her son away? I don't care if she goes to the moon with Johnny Depp, as long as she doesn't have my son Guys, with her. can we just stick to the facts here? Now, Emily lost Daniel at Al's. Oh, for the love of God. Which is why Tom stepped in. Now, the next thing we know, she shows up here with a ladder. That has not been established, Margot. Billy, did you see Emily with a ladder? No, sir. Adam. N no, but... But what? She seemed upset. Did she say why? Yeah, she said she wanted to see Daniel. And did you find that unusual, Adam, that a mother might be upset because she was separated from her son at the holidays? Oh, hell. Margo, we have a problem here. Somebody tried to kidnap Daniel tonight, and we're not going to find out why if we assume we already know the answer. What happened next, Adam? I, I, I told her he was asleep, and then she said that she wasn't going to wake him up or anything. She just wanted to go uh, hang out with him, give him a good night kiss. Adam, I thought you understood. Yeah, and I also explained to her that I did not think that this was a good idea at all, especially considering you two were not home. But, you know, she's... You know what? I, I, right now, all I care about is Daniel. I'm not... And she shouldn't have put you in this position. Don't you lay this off on Emily, Tom. You created this situation. All right, all right. Adam, what happened next? I, I let her upstairs. Well, I kind of leaned on Adam to let her do it. I felt bad. Well, sure, she knows how to play the sympathy card, but what she was really doing was scoping out the house to figure out where to put the ladder. Of course, she really needs to scope out this house, Tom. Like she doesn't know the room you keep Daniel in. Okay, how long was she upstairs? Five, ten minutes? Ten minutes. Mm. Ten minutes. Did you hear anything? Anything at all? Window opening? She always opens the window. It's called fresh air, Tom. Something in short supply in this house. Oh, uh, please. Did you guys hear anything unusual? Did, did you hear anything over the baby monitor? What? She told us to uh, turn off the monitor. Oh. <laughs> of course she did. Maybe she wanted a little privacy with her son, Tom. You don't have to defend me, Hal. I can do that myself. At the station. I want her taken down for questioning. Rolaids announces unbeatable taste. Five great ways to spell fast relief. And now taste tests show even Tums can't beat Rolaids. In mint or fruit flavors, what a great tasting way to spell relief. Rolaids. Good morning. You're here to try a leave cold and sinus. My sinus is a clog. My head hurts too. Well, the challenge is you only get one pill. One pill? But the minute your symptoms return, come tell me. Thanks. See you soon. Okay. Hi. It uh, wore off. No, I feel great. Can I have one for my husband? Take the one pill challenge. I'll leave cold and sinus. These babies are not models. They were conceived using the Clear Plan Easy Fertility Monitor. It unmistakably tells you more fertile days each cycle than any leading method, so you have the best chance to get pregnant. Clear plan, clear results. Now, replenish your skin's precious vitamin E every time you shower with new Soft Soap Vitamins Body Wash. Vitamin E in an easy-to-use form. For the start of healthier-looking skin, shower yourself with Soft Soap Vitamins. Why are people falling for new homestyle bakes? <gasps> Because it's one heavy box packed with tender chicken, savory vegetables, and a golden biscuit topping that makes one complete real meal. New Homestyle Bakes from Banquet. It's all you need to pick up. Radio Shack, your RC headquarters. For cool low riders that bounce and hop. Our exclusive radio-controlled Crocodile Hunter truck. Wild machines that transform before your eyes. Off-road monster 4x4s and ultra-fast speed demons. Get the wheels every kid wants. Battery sold separately at your RC headquarters. Radio Shack. It's the Black and Decker. Get around, get around, get around.
It's Gizmo, the new Black & Decker cordless can opener. You can keep Gizmo in any handy spot, and the compact charger base goes anywhere. Charge it up. Gizmo's good for a month. Use Gizmo wherever you need it. You'll love your Black & Decker Gizmo, and so will anyone you give it to. It just had to be Black & Decker. I had a visitor a few days ago, Lucinda Walsh. She had heard that James was back in town, and she was furious with me for not pressing charges. Why didn't you? Because I wanted him gone. But Lucinda took it personally. She felt that I had put her at risk and you at risk. She was worried about you because of your involvement with Paul, and she felt that the only reason that James was back in town was because of Paul. Why use me, then? What? I don't understand. Why try to break us up? Why not go after B.R.O. Or, or Paul? But she is going after Paul. Don't you see? She knows his history. She knows that he has a tendency to become involved with women who have let him down. Which is why fidelity is so important to them. Lucinda thought if she could get him to think that you had betrayed him, that he would leave you and don't him. Well, Lucinda was there when the flowers came, and she did make sure that Paul saw them. Aha. Uh -huh. No, not aha, no, because no, she would never do that. That's not her. That's, uh, Lucinda is a straight shooter. If she doesn't like something, you know it. But what if she's being thwarted? She'd already gone to you to no avail. She came to me to no avail. So what if in desperation she came up with this scheme? What? No, it's too nasty. No. No, she'd go behind my back, talk to you, talk to Paul. She's done that, but stealing underwear? <laughs> not her style. Besides, I have too much at stake. I love my son. And though you may not be my choice for him, I would never jeopardize my relationship with my son just to keep you apart. You would sacrifice me in a second. I know you would. That wasn't the plan, Barbara. But if you stand in my way... Yeah. I'd never risk that. If it wasn't you, and it wasn't Lucinda, who was it? Let's think. You've just told me that your friend, Mr. O'Malley, was having some difficult times. You said something about the unemployment office. Isn't it possible he heard about your success and decided he could cash in on your cushy life if he could just get Paul out of the way? Mm, maybe. So, Rose, I just want to reassure you that I had nothing to do with this. Right. All I know is you don't want to lose your son. But neither do I. Good luck! <clears throat> Some of this you know already. I waitressed when it tended bar. He admitted at least that much, right? And? I need you to understand this. Abigail, I was broken inside. Giving you up. You just never recover from that, okay? And at that time in my life, I didn't know what was wrong with me. So I was just wandering around, looking for something, anything to stop the pain. And I found Nick. Or he found me. I don't know. He was really good at picking up on pain. And we worked together every night. And I thought he was different. <laughs> he didn't hit on me. He just talked to me. We talked. He complimented me, not on the way I looked. Not at first, anyway. He just told me that I had a spark. That I shouldn't be waitressing in this dive on these... He told me that I was destined for better. And I laughed. But he kept it... kept it up. And then he started walking me to my car, buying me coffee. And then before I knew it, he was looking at me like I was the only girl in the world. You know what that feels like, don't you, honey? He was trying to be your friend. Is that a crime? Depends on what he wants. He wanted to help me, and he did. He 
It's the reason I won that award. Because he believed in me and because he respected me. Abigail, you made a wonderful film. No one's disputing that. Yeah, but she's twisting everything. Look, just hear her out. And then we'll talk about it. Okay? He was kind to me, honey. Okay, I thought that I'd found someone that really understood me, who I could trust. And then one night, he saw me crying in the walk-in. And I was going to be okay. I was pulling it together. But he wouldn't let up. So at the end of my shift, I told him. It was your birthday. And I'd given you up. And I also told him that everybody kept telling me that time heals all wounds. Well, you know what? That just wasn't true because it was getting worse. I felt like my heart would never stop breaking. So he listened to you pour your heart out. Somehow that's a bad thing. He wasn't my friend, Abigail. He took my secret and he used it against me. He made me feel like I lost you all over again. And don't you see? Don't you get it? I don't want that happening to you. I'm still in charge here, Tom, and nobody's going anywhere until the techs have finished working up this house. All right, well, where's Daniel? Is he okay? He's fine. He wasn't hurt by the flying glass. What's flying glass? When you broke the window. I didn't break anything. He's upstairs in their bedroom. Not a chance. I want to go see my son. Oh, like you wanted to see him earlier? Look, he's fine. He's sleeping. Why don't we let Adam and Billy go check? You check on Daniel. What Here is go. going on? I saw a ladder up against the, the, the house. Who did this? We're still collecting evidence, Emma. Can you give us an idea of your uh, whereabouts when you left here earlier tonight? Can you? Yeah, I was the late view with Margo. Yeah, right. Well, a friend of yours staged this, uh, this attempted kidnapping that you're trying to pin on me. Oh, that's insane. You would do anything to get full custody. I would do Daniel. anything to keep Daniel safe. That is right, yeah, like keeping him away from me. Having him kidnapped from Al to make me look like some kind of bad parent. I Stop. did no such thing. Thing. Time out. Tom did not have Daniel killed. And I have a right to answer. And Emily has a right to an attorney. I do not need an attorney. You can ask me anything you want. Where were you? Riverfront Park. Well, that's convenient. I went to look at the tree. Oh, the tree. How nice. Did anyone see you, Emily? No, I don't know. 20, 30 people. Anyone you knew? No. I just went to walk around to clear my head a Did little bit. Did you stop anywhere, a drugstore, a gas station? No, I went right home. So no one can vouch for your whereabouts. Do you really think I would try to kidnap my own son? You're asking me, you who got up on the stand and tried to make it look like I killed Alec Wallace? You who bloodied your own knees to make it look like you'd been mugged? You who broke up my marriage and got yourself pregnant? You're asking me if I think that you could kidnap your own son, yes. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that person anymore. Really? What's changed, Emily? I've, I've got some, someone in my life who expects something better of me, and, and knowing that and living up to his vision, I, I've changed. And whether you believe it or not, I really don't care. I mean, I, I barely believe it myself, but when somebody just sees the good in you, you don't want to let him down. Oh, it's a touching story. Yeah. Did you come up with anything else outside? The ground's frozen solid. So no footprints? Yeah, we're trying to lift prints off the ladder or the windowsill. Well, it won't be mine. No, because you were wearing gloves. We found one of your gloves under the ladder. Ever lose a glove, Margo? Not while committing a crime, Emily, no. Did you wait for me outside? Go with them. I know you're dying to search my car. Go ahead. Search my pockets. Anything you want. Well, Emily, if you're serious, I wouldn't mind going through your bag. You don't have to do that, Emily. I've got nothing to hide. Good. Are you satisfied? tickets. You want to explain this, Emily? A baby who lived on top of a hill could twist into any shape at will. Then, one day, he finally hit on a magical diaper that stretches to fit. Improved Huggy Supreme diapers are stretch stretchiest ever. Designed for greater comfort and a perfect fit. Improved Huggy Supreme. A fit you'll love with comfort to spare. They're the ultimate in care. sitting a while, did you know that on your heavy days, the minute that you stand up, your flow could increase up to two 
thousand times? That's why you need these new Always Maxis for faster absorbency. These new Always Maxis absorb twice as fast for cleaner, drier protection. So when you stand up, there are no surprises. Always expect more protection. After reviewing the standard file, why is he going, Mom? Your mom hasn't studied in a long time. Mom, do you want anything? Not now, honey. Okay. It's more than just that great peanut taste. Choosing Jif is a small, simple way of letting someone know you care. I got in case you needed a break or something. You made that for me? Moms like you choose Jif. I can't believe how fast it dries. Everyone's talking about the Remington Vortex Jet Speed Dryer because only the patented Vortex TurboJet Comb surrounds your hair with air to dry fast. The Vortex Jet Speed Dryer, only from Remington. You've got to try it. For little ones to grow big and strong, they need the proper nutrients. If you're concerned your child isn't getting adequate nutrition, ask your doctor about Pediasure, a source of complete balanced nutrition that tastes great. Pediasure. I think arthritis can change the way you perceive yourself, if you let it. The trick is, don't let it. Move over, Aviv. This is Tylenol Arthritis Pain, a different Tylenol. Just two capsules in the morning have the strength to last all day, with safety that can't be beat. Arthritis pain? Don't we have better things to do? Yes, tonight. I am single, and I will never love or be loved by any man for the remainder of my life. For Lydia DeLuca, finding a good man has never been easy. Is the word medium too many syllables for you? Why don't I just take your dinner and you can take mine? But when she meets Mr. Wright, will she do the wrong thing? <laughs> An all-new That's Life, CBS Tonight. A father is in prison for protecting his son. It's my fault. Can a Christmas miracle bring them together? You have a father who loves you very much. A holiday touched by an angel Saturday. I will not be afraid of the dark. I will not feel guilty leaving my dog alone. I will feel better about my dad living by himself. I will know my children are safe. I will go on vacation and finally be able to relax! ADT helps more people feel safe in more ways than any other security company. Call 800-ADT-ASAP or an ADT authorized dealer and get ADT burglary protection installed for as little as $99. You could also save up to 20% off your basic homeowner's insurance. I will live my life. My life. My life. On my turn! Call now and get ADT installed from $99 plus up to 20% off homeowner's insurance. ADT. Always there. Maple Furs and Leather is closing their store in Oak Park and at River Oaks Mall in Calumet City. Save to 80% on furs and leathers for ladies and men. Watch NFL football this weekend on CBS2. Brought to you by BP. Why her own family kidnapped her son. Next Judge Judy. People have spoken. Ray's been nominated for two People's Choice Awards. CBS Monday. I have never seen those tickets. Well, it looks like you and Daniel are planning a little vacation, Emily. Those are not my tickets. They have your name on them. They were paid for with your credit card. Did you know about this, Hal, that Emily is planning to fly out tonight? I never bought these tickets. I never made any plans. You have to believe me. I, I don't know how they ended up in my purse. I... Unless Tom planted them. That oh. is absurd. Emily, was your bag out of your sight any time tonight? I don't know. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. Hal, out of respect for you, I'm going to let you take her home tonight, but I want her at the station first thing in the morning with counsel prepared to answer questions. Like why she would have shown you the contents of her purse if she knew those tickets were in there? Well, who knows how her mind works. She was bluffing, and we called her on it. 9 a.m., Hal. Get your stuff, Emily. We're getting out of here. No way. I'm going to get my son. Not going to happen! I did not, not try gonna to happen. get my son! You have no business keeping him from me! We'll settle this later. 
Come on, Emily. Just say goodnight to Adam oh, for me. Of course. And until this thing is settled, you guys keep a close eye on Daniel. Oh. Abigail, I know I hurt you when I gave you away. Nick's picking up on that. All Nick talks about is my potential. And how it could be if only, you know, if you left home. Abigail, look, I know that Nick was there for you when Brian died. And he comforted you when you were disappointed with Adam. And that's not bad. If that's all it was. Support. Friendship. I could even handle romance. Believe it or not, I'd be fine with that. Even with someone older than you. If Nick were right for you. But Abigail, he uses romantic feelings to take advantage. Molly, why don't you just stay with what happened to you and let Abigail make up her own mind? Abigail, I started spending a lot of time with Nick because I could talk to him about you. I told him my dream. My biggest dream in the world was to find you again. And he said I'd better be careful not to disappoint you. That if a long-lost mother shows up, she better be rich. You know, that's his sense of humor. I know, I know him. No. Abigail. Well, if someone said that to me, I'd probably say the same thing. You know, you're working in a skizzy bar. He was just trying to get you to make some... No, he was just trying to get me to help him rip off the bar. He told me that I needed money, and he knew a surefire way to get it. He said that we'd double-team the bar owner. That I would distract him, and Nick would just skim off a couple hundred dollars every night after his shift, and we'd split it. He is not like that anymore. No, I'm really glad. But you can't even imagine being close to someone who'd do something like that. I'd know if he was like that. I told him I wouldn't do it, Abigail. That it was wrong. And I also told him we couldn't be close anymore. And you know what he said? You know why he said he wanted to steal? Because he wanted to help me find you. He told me that I would never find you. That it would never happen unless I helped him do this. He used my most precious dream, Abigail to try to make me commit a crime. That's who Nick Scudder was, and that's who he still is. Barbara, you have to admit that that chef that I brought in is far superior to the one that Paul found. I'm happy you're happy. Really? Rose was here. But then you know that. What she won? She accused me of setting up the whole Vince O'Malley thing. And you were able to tell her, honestly, that you had nothing to do with it, right? Oh, I was innocent. Bring on the Academy Award. I was even able to cast doubt on Lucinda. Better and better. Rose left here convinced that I had nothing to do with it. I'm not so sure this is going to satisfy her. I mean, Rose is a tough customer. Street smart. Shrewd. You're giving her too much credit. I don't know about that. Let's consider this. Not much more than a year ago, she was a second-rate showgirl in Atlantic City, and today, vice president of Worldwide. I'll have to think of something very special for our little Rose. Such as. Come on, James. After my performance today, I deserve full disclosure. What? Ruin all the denizens? Do time, darling. Do time. Nah. Nah, you couldn't pull this off. You don't have what takes upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. So that means if someone is posing as you, the only way to prove that is to find the real McCoy. Or the real O'Malley. Winter air makes it worse. So can blow dry. That's scalp stress itch. And Scalpacin stops it. Clean, unscented, medicated to stop scalp stress itch. Every time. Scalpacin stops scalp stress itch. Didn't you say you were getting a cold? Yes, but I used Zycam right away and got rid of it right away. 
Didn't you say you were getting a cold? I knocked it out with Zycam before the cold could knock me down. Zycam is unique. Its patented formula has been shown to get rid of colds three times faster when taken at the first sign of symptoms. Colds? They're tough to avoid, but now I get rid of them three times faster. Getting a cold? Get Zycam and get rid of the cold three times faster. What would you like? Pink Pussy Princess. Pink Pussy Princess. A pink Pussy Princess. Someone has got to tell these folks about Dell. Maybe that someone is you. <laughs> At $8.99, a Dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor is the perfect gift for anyone. Call or go online today and the shipping is free. Dude, I want a Dell. Holiday values made easy. Easy as Dell. Celebrate the holidays. Get the best gifts at super low prices at Burlington Coat Factory. Save on sweaters, sleepwear, slippers, scarves and gloves, shirts and blouses, jewelry and watches, leathers and downs, beautiful gifts for the home, and so much more at prices lower than department store sale prices. Burlington Coat Factory, we're more than great folks. In our house, the homemade taste of Stouffer's lasagna brings everyone together. Where are we going? I'm going to the movies with Sarah. Mm -hmm. Where are you running? Robbie. With Stouffer's rich layers of cheese and tomato sauce, it's more than just a dinner. It's Stouffer's lasagna night. I thought you guys were going out. I'm not going out. He's going out. I'm not going out. He was going out. What? I got home. Stouffer's, nothing comes close to the home. These have always brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. This elegant holiday gift set Yours for just $49.50. CBS Sunday, a man and a woman who thought they'd never love again. Could I offer you a lift? This is your car? A little impractical, don't you think? Until fate brought them together. Has anybody ever told you that you're a real pain in the ass? For one special night. I haven't been picked up since I was a little girl. You go hunt and gather, I'll knit something for the harvest. James Garner. Do you believe in second chances? And Julie Andrews. I only believe in what I see. In a heartwarming holiday romance, one special night, CBS Sunday. So did you rip off the bar? No. Did he? He helped himself from time to time when he thought he could get away with it. And you never did anything wrong? I never used emotional blackmail against anybody, no. Look, Molly, maybe that's how you felt about it, but I can guarantee you that Nick does not see it that way. And how do you see it? He's told me he did some bad things when he was growing up, but that all changed when he was in jail. You can step in any time, Harold. What? Look, I listen to you. Yeah, but you're not hearing me, Abigail. Nick Scudder is going to use you. What? Because it didn't work out for you? Nick has never been anything but good to me. I've told you that. He loves me. He's only telling you that to try to get you to leave town with him. You do not Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Nick Scudder asked you to leave town with him? Yes, hold on. I don't care I how... I asked old... Abigail. Molly's made it impossible for him. She got him fired. She got cops to threaten him. He's in violation of parole if he doesn't have a job. She knew that. So he has to leave town in order to find work. Okay, Abigail, you listen to me very carefully. Whatever problems you have had with your mother, and I know the situation has been difficult, you have both had your differences, but I am your father. And there's no way I'm letting you leave town with this guy. I would rather lose you than let that happen. What do you mean? I'm going to call your adoptive parents. What? No, look, hold it. Molly and I have talked about this. It's just going to make them upset. Well, it's upsetting. Hold on, they're so overprotective. And right now you need protecting, so I'm going to call them and I'm going to book us two seats on the next flight out of here. You'll take her? Yes. No, uh, you don't have to do that. You should be here, home on the holidays with kids. Abigail, you're my daughter, and I would do anything for you. All right, look, what I meant was... You don't have to call the Williams. I won't leave town with Nick. All right. I mean it. I s I'll tell him I won't go. You'll give me your word. Don't you trust me? If you look me in the eye and tell me that you're done with him, I'll believe you. I'm done with him. 
Now you're not going to call my mom and dad, right? You think about it. Okay. Can I go? I need to take a shower and smell like horse. We'll both go. Um, I have my car. Just need help. Molly, either you trust me or you don't. I'll see you at home. And I'll see you tomorrow. So we can start taking Bucephalus through his paces, okay? Okay, sure. Can you tell uh, Lily I said goodnight and goodnight to the kids? You know she's going to him. She gave her word. And you believe her? Holding you the Williams number in Rotterdam? Because we need to call them now. myself to do that. Not sleep like an angel while the world around you is in chaos? Yeah. How are you, baby? Look at that face. It's one of the sweetest faces God put on this earth. And if Emily had been successful tonight, I'd never have seen it again. You think she really would have done it, though? We both saw the plane tickets. I know, I know, and I can even imagine her getting all the way to the airport, but then maybe... Do you think she'd really leave the country with him and not come back? <sighs> if coming back meant she might go to court and lose him? I don't know. I mean, I thought I had a pretty good idea what Emily would and would not do, but I'll tell you, when... When people are cornered, they can surprise you. She's desperate, and I probably made her that way. Tom, don't. And I'm not saying that I would walk through this minefield differently if I had it to do over again. I just... I hate this place, this ugly place. I feel the need to protect my son from his own mother. I know. And Daniel... Well, he can sleep through it right now because he's just... He's too little to understand, but one day, he will be Adam's age, and if he doesn't have his mother... He'll ask you for an explanation, and you'll give him one. And what if that is not even enough? And you know what I'm talking about. I mean, how many times have you brought in some kid from, I don't know, shoplifting, and there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason because they've got family and food in their stomachs, they go to a decent school, but there's this hole inside that just can't seem to be filled. It's really, it's not always about a missing parent, Tom. No. I mean, so many times in family court, we get these chronic behavioral problems that seem to come out of nowhere. But seven times out of ten, there is some form of parental abandonment. Yeah, but what about when it can't be helped? What about when the child's mother is somehow a danger to that child? I mean, what else can society do but keep her away, keep him from harming him? Well, you're good at that. What? Trying to make me feel like I'm not some kind of a monster. Oh, no. No. Come here. Everything that you are doing now, everything that you have always done, and everything that you will always do, is for this person. You love them with everything that you've got in that big, fair, wonderful heart of yours. I know. I left my bag. But when I got to Tom's house, I, I drove in the driveway and I just ran in the front door. I left everything on the front seat. My bag, my gloves. Somebody had to have broken into the car and, and planted the tickets and, and stolen my gloves. I know I didn't have my gloves because my hands were freezing at the park. I'm going to go upstairs. 
get the sitter's number and uh, call her and say goodnight to Parker. Oh, wait, wait, well. wait, wait, you believe me, don't you? I mean, think about it, Hal. I'm not strong enough to, to carry a, a ladder around the house. It's aluminum. Meaning what? You think I did it? Meaning that we can lift a couple of prints off and maybe assuming whoever did this didn't wear gloves. You have to believe me. I, I didn't do it. You can't... Emily, one thing I know is a cop is that problems don't go away. They'll be here tomorrow morning after we all get some sleep. It's gonna be okay. Just How can you not believe me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose him because he doesn't believe me. Hello. Emily Stewart. Who is this? Well, when my son wandered off? He didn't wander anywhere. There was a guy. He got him to leave the diner. Who? D did you recognize him? Listen, they're trying to prove I'm negligent. They're gonna revoke my custody if I can't prove somebody took him away. If you have any information at all. I won't testify. Fine. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to testify. You can meet me. You can meet me here. No. Someone can see me. All right, well, then just tell me what you want me to do. I'll meet you anywhere. Hello? The train station parking lot. How soon can you be there? Soon. It's just a few blocks away. Good. If you leave now and walk fast, it shouldn't take you more than ten minutes. My car will be the only one in the lot. I'm on my way. I'm feeling good. I'm taking Welbutrin SR, an antidepressant with a low risk of sexual side effects. That's important to me. Wellbutrin SR is clinically proven to effectively treat depression with a low risk of sexual side effects. Glad I talked to my doctor. Wellbutrin SR works for my depression. Be open with your doctor. Ask about Wellbutrin SR. It treats depression with a low risk of sexual side effects. Wellbutrin SR is not for everyone. There is a risk of seizure. To reduce that risk, don't use if you have or have had a seizure or eating disorder. Don't use if you take Zyban or an MAOI. When used with a nicotine patch or alone, there is a risk of increased blood pressure, sometimes severe. To reduce risk of serious side effects, tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. Other side effects may include dry mouth, nausea, and difficulty sleeping. I'm feeling like myself again. Ask your doctor about Wellbutrin SR, clinically proven to treat depression with a low risk of sexual side effects. It's a holiday tradition. It has been for years. With French's Taste Toppers, your green bean casserole has the crunchy onion taste everyone loves. So celebrate the holidays with family, friends, and French's Taste Toppers. Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Body Moisturizer. Clinically proven under the harshest conditions. It does more than moisturize dry, rough skin. It actually heals it. That's why dermatologists recommend Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Body Moisturizer. It works. This is my mom. Another perfect holiday. I was seven and mom was amazing. She always knew to make Czech's party mix. The good stuff. All seasoned and toasted fresh from the oven. great about the holidays now? It's my turn to be mom. On this job, there is no quitting time. No matter how raw your throat, ragged your cough, you labor through chills, fever. Now the work is done. You need Theraflu with a great new taste. From the first sip, your throat feels soothed. Soon, the cough, congestion, aches melt away. You feel better from the inside out. For bad colds or flu, try the great new taste of TheraFlu. Instant comfort, powerful relief. CBS Tonight. Destiny's Child, Dustin Hoffman, Scott Hamilton, and host Mariah Carey invite you to celebrate the families that give the ultimate gift of love. I thought I was never going to get adopted. A home for kids to call their own. 
home for the holidays. CBS Tonight. Molly, I don't know about making this call. We gave her the impression that we would back off. How can we expect her to keep her word if we don't? Well, dealing with whether or not Abigail trusts us right now, that is a luxury. What we have to worry about is Nick Scudder taking our daughter across state line, convincing her to have sex with him, and then moving on to the main event. Getting her arrested for a crime that she's powerless to stop. We can't risk our daughter going to jail, Holden. We have to do something about it right now. Make the call. Abigail, I... I never thought I'd see you again. I, I'm sorry, I can't stay long, but I just wanted to tell you that, uh... When you leave town, I'm going with you. That ran all the way here. Where is he? Look, I got a call from a guy telling me to meet him at the train station parking lot. He didn't say anything about a limo, though. My employer can't afford to be seen with you. It's me to pick you up and bring you to a more private location. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, Matt, I don't like this. I said just now. Wait! Just wait. Where are we going? Look, my instructions were to call from the highway, all right? My employer will tell me where to meet him. Okay. Drive. Yes, ma'am. I've always been hands-on, James. I know, Barbara, but, I mean, you wouldn't want to get your fingers dirty on this one. I mean, if you had known, Rose would have been able to see it. Eh, it's much better this way. I wouldn't be quite so proud of yourself just yet. Carly left on her own, but she is a child here. Obviously, she will be back. And I was able to keep Rose at bay, but she's not going to give up Paul. And Emily? Emily's living in my house. Yes. Go right on his plan. What plan? Who was that? Damn it, James! And then there was one. Do you know, have any idea how long Bernie and Agnes are gonna be in Myrtle Beach? Did they leave a number where they could be reached, Mrs. Shapiro? I mean, they trust you so much with those houseplants. <sighs> All right, please just tell them that I called and please give them my number and tell them it's very important. It's about their son, Vince. God bless you too, Mrs. Shapiro. Boy, who was that? The upstairs neighbor of the most hated woman in America, Agnes O'Malley. Who was a relative of Vince's? That would be his sainted mother. What is it with you and his mothers? Oh, you mean Barbara? No, 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 no. They're nothing alike. Agnes, she's just a tiny little bleach blonde, keeps pushing cookies in your face. But then you go to reach for one, she stabs you with a fork. Barbara, on the other hand, gives you the cookie that's filled with grounded glass. So that's why you called Agnes, to find Vince? Not my first option, believe me. But I gotta find Vince and nobody has seen him. So Vince is still a problem. Oh yeah, according to Paul. Walked out on me tonight. Because of the phone calls? Long story short, there's somebody out there, somebody out there making it look like, I, like I'm two-timing Paul with Vince. And the only way that I can prove that it's a lie is to track Vince down and beat the truth out of him. Of course, I know how important Paul is to you, but I'll be careful. Thomas. So, what are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Don't you got family that needs you? Uh, Emma's with the kids. And uh, Holden and Molly are having a little powwow with Abigail. Is everything all right? Lily? Is there a way to keep Luke and Faith small forever? Yeah. Sit on them. Right. <laughs> I should go. Call me tomorrow? Absolutely. room, please. Oh, baby, pick up, please. I'm not giving up on us. And that's a promise. <laughs> 